Hey guys, Tina here. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be doing a makeup tutorial on this look. Now, in Australia, formal season is coming up, or in other parts of the world, you guys would call it prom. So I wanted to design a makeup look specifically for those of you who are planning to do your own makeup. So if you want to know how to achieve this look, make sure you keep watching and I'll show you how. First, I'm going to apply my Laura Mercier Oil Free Foundation Primer. This one's excellent if you have a combination or oilier skin type. For foundation, I'll be using a new one from Laura Mercier called the Smooth Finish Flawless Fluid Foundation. Oh, that's a mouthful. This one is oil free and dries to a natural looking matte finish. It's best to apply this product with your fingers or a sponge. And here I'm grabbing my sponge and spraying Fix Plus onto it and then just really working the product in using a patting motion. Next, I'm going to spot conceal with my MAC Pro Concealer Palette in Medium. Once I'm happy with my base, I'm going to grab my MAC Prep & Prime Highlighter Pen in Light Boost and I'm going to apply it to the areas along the center of my face. Then I'm going to blend it all in with a small fluffy brush. Next comes contouring. I'll be using my Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate palette in Intensity 1 and using a medium fluffy brush I'm just going to shade in the hollows of my cheeks to create a more sculpted look. And with whatever's left on my brush I'm just going to blend it into my forehead, my jawline and the sides of my nose. After that I'm going to apply my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Medium and I'm just going to apply the powder onto my T-zone wherever it gets a bit oily. Then using Benefits Bronzing Powder in Hula I'm going to start contouring my nose. Now if you haven't seen my contouring videos make sure you check it out by clicking the links on the screen or the links in the caption below. For my brows, I'll be using Brow Wiz in Soft Brown by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I really like this retractable eyebrow pencil because it's so thin, which means that you don't have to ever sharpen it. How awesome is that? Once I'm happy with the shape and I've brushed it out with the spoolie, I'm just going to use my dip brow to underline and further define my eyebrows. Now I'm ready to move on to my eyes. For my base, I'll be using MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre and I'm just going to apply that on with my fingers and really pat and blend it in. For my crease or transition colour, I'll be using Soft Brown from MAC. When applying eyeshadows, it's all about blending, so make sure you use a fluffy brush to really blend and work the colour in. Next, I'm going to grab Driftwood from the Stila palette and apply that along my outer V. This will help give it more depth and dimension and also help elongate my eyes. To highlight, I'll be using the color Trick from the Naked 3 palette and I'm just going to pat that into the center and inner corner of my lids. Next, I'm going to grab my MAC eyeliner in Rich Experience and run that along my lower lash line, then blending it out with a flat brush. Then I'm going to apply a bit of soft brown underneath just to soften up my lower lash line. And I'm going to do the same with my other eye. With my Dolly Wink Liquid Eyeliner, I'm going to line the top lash line and create a nice flick to further elongate my eyes. Next, I'm going to curl my almost non-existent lashes. And then I'm going to apply my Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara. Thank you. 
To finish off my eyes, I'm going to apply a nice natural looking pair of both eyelashes. After I've got my lashes on, a good trick I like to do is use my fingers to sandwich my natural lash and the false lashes together so that I avoid having that double lash effect. For my cheeks, I'll be using my favourite MAC Mineralize blush in Warm Soul. I love this colour because it just seems to match with any look that I do, so it's definitely my go-to colour. To highlight, I'll be using my Laura Mercier Baked Powder in highlight number one, and I'm just going to apply that in the inner corner of my eyes just to brighten up the look. I also like to apply it along my cheekbones, underneath my brow bone, along my nose bridge and along my cupid's bow just to give it a bit more radiance, especially when the light hits my face. For my lips, I'll be applying my MAC lipstick in Kinda Sexy. And yes, this shade is Kinda Sexy. <laughs> Then I'm going to grab my MAC Viva Glam Gaga Lip Gloss and apply that along the center of my lips. What this does is help create the illusion that I've got bigger and fuller lips. Finally, I'm going to use my Makeup Forever Setting Spray to help lock in all my hard work. guys like this makeup look and thank you so much for watching please make sure you like share and subscribe to stay updated with future videos and stay until the end because there's some um, funny bloopers that you might want to see also I'm filming a get to know me video very soon so if you have any questions that you want me to answer or you want to know about me leave it in the comment box below so I can answer it in my next video and I will speak to you guys soon bye Gotta shake my foundation. What is that noise? <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> if I get murdered, oh my gosh, it's gonna be on camera. Oh, I think I sprayed too much. <laughs> let it dry, let it dry. Oh no, the sun's coming up. Oh, my hair. I'm having a bad hair day. Mop, mop.